Welcome back, friends. Our next guest, Darren Andrews, is the clinic director of We Grow Hair Indie, a place that's all about helping Hoosiers feel their best. Darren, welcome to the Hi, show. Darren. Thanks for having me back. Yeah. I always love having you here. Likewise. So I know the last couple times that you've been on the show, we've talked about some of the treatments, some of the transplant te technology at the clinic, but mm -hmm. we actually are talking about two new VIPs that people yeah. know about here that you've helped in our community. Yeah, Mr. Dave First, a well-known uh, TV personality here in Indy. Um, he actually had a transplant back in 2012 with us, but he was super private at the time. Um, lost a little bit more of his ongoing, uh, or his non-transplant here. This is actually uh, Barry uh, Krause. So Barry played uh, professional football for many years, number one draft pick back in 1979. And the images you see there are actually from the Davis procedure. So you can go oh, to his wow. VIP wow. page at wegrowherindy.com and we tracked him throughout the day of the procedure and, and uh, throughout the, the, video, the uh, procedure and the follow-up to the procedure. This is Mr. Dave first, so yeah. uh, as I mentioned, fairly well-known uh, personality uh, television-wise here in town and had a transplant with us back in 2012 and was very happy with the results, still looked great, but had a little bit of ongoing loss of his non-transplanted yeah. hair, okay. um, so wanted a second procedure. So now he's able to be public about it, he has done so, and so again on his VIP page, uh, videos tracking him right through the process, so That's it's really great. fun. Darren, what exactly is a hair transplant? I mean, is it permanent? Is it gonna grow the rest of someone's life? Yeah, so the hair on the back and the sides is what we transplant, it's genetically permanent, so you can relocate it to the top and it maintains that permanency. Oh, so wow. as much as the hair is permanent on the back and sides, it maintains that permanency when it's moved to the top. Okay. And that was, uh, that was me, of course, back uh, 2005, I had my hair transplant. Okay. So look at that. Yeah, I, I'm always yeah. amazed too, and you yeah. can see just how happy you look too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when you when you look and feel your best, when you look your best, you feel your best, right? Yeah. So exactly. it's just that confidence, the way you carry yourself. Obviously, we've all aged a bit since then, so the hair color's changed a bit, but uh, <laughs> oh, it's okay. still looking great. Rocking it's all part of it. Look. Yeah, it's part of it. Well, and a lot of people might be wondering if a hair transplant is the best solution for all men, or, or really what they should be looking at. Yeah, I mean, it's not a one-size-fits-all, right? So we offer every available proven solution. So the technology today is such that you don't always need a transplant. If you start early, there are preventative things that are medically proven that you can actually kind of take a global approach with. And sometimes you team them in with the transplant, sometimes you just start with those things. But we offer every available uh, medically proven solution. Okay, and I understand we're about to hear from one of your, uh, one of your guests, uh, Tyler. Yep. Uh, what was what was his procedure? So we get a lot of guys from out of state. He yeah. had a multi-unit hair grafting procedure. He was nice enough to do a little selfie video and, and send it our way. So okay. that was pretty cool. Let's take a look. Tyler, here we go. My name's Tyler. And I was a recent patient of uh, We Grow Hair Endy, and I wanted to talk about my journey and kind of where I am right now. Uh, so it was, it was pretty bad. Um, so here, I was really good at strategically placing my hair to where you wouldn't really be able to see that, um, but that's really how it was. I mean, the results really speak for themselves. Um, none of my hair is falling out. There's no strategic placement. It's just really nice to have a full head of hair. If I did nothing else, I, I'd be happy the way it is. So I did want to thank you all. That's fantastic. That's yeah, it's really yeah. very great. gratifying to see that type of thing, right? And everybody's yeah. different. You know, it's medicine, so there are variables. So that free uh, private evaluation is obviously the start of things. And in uh, Tyler's situation, we did a virtual consultation with okay. him. Okay, so, so you can, well. virtual works as we well. We do, yeah. yeah. We get a lot of guys from all over the country and yeah. obviously outside of the state. So um, those virtual meetings are very popular. We do a lot of those. That's right. great. Yep. Well, it's nice to have those experts here in town. And if somebody watching is looking for more information, Darren, give them those details. Yeah, so the website, uh, wegrowherindy.com, tons of information on there. Like we said, the VIP pages, you can watch procedures being done, the results afterwards, and then call the clinic, 317-522-2995. Uh, awesome. awesome, Darren, awesome. thanks so much uh, Thank for you, being Darren. here today. We thanks appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, get incredible. that free virtual or in-person evaluation at wegrowhairindy.com. All right, well, it is that time in the show. We're going to play our pop quiz. So, uh -oh. Darren, if you know any of the answers, <laughs> Feel, shout them out. Feel free to shout them out. Give shout them out from home, too. Before we play, we do want to take a moment to thank our amazing sponsors who helped make this show possible. We had Lux Main Salon on here in Whitestown. We had Moondrops Distillery over in Fortville. you got to check them out. And then, of course, we just checked in with Rebo Hair Indy and Sundown Gardens for our beautiful backyard. And another thank you to the rest of our guests today, Ronald McDonald House Charities of Central Indiana, Taffy's Touch Senior Dog Rescue, Hoosier Cookie Company, Jolene Ketzenberger, the YMCA of Greater Indy, Fountain Fletcher District and Turketti's Deli. What a full what fun, a show. fun show. That was great. And I really fun. hope that Mac, the therapy dog, and Gigi yeah. really had a chance to connect. It'd be a really interesting combo to that see was, them. Just yeah. a little aging old lady and, and just a guy yep. in his prime. All right, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's play. Here we go. Uh, feel free to shout out your answers uh, wherever you're watching. Here Question we go. number one. All right, producer oh, Abby. And, and, there's and there's Darren. Darren. There's Darren. Yeah. Hi, Darren. Okay, all right. <laughs> 
What actress founded the successful wellness and lifestyle brand Goop? Oh, um, what is Patro? Correct. Paltro? Pa Paltro? Paltro. Do you want to know Paltro? how she got the name? Goop? For Goop. Goop, yeah. She was told that play things with double letters like Google do well, so she just did G for Gwyneth, P for Paltro. That's Goop. it? That's it. That's huh. the reason? <laughs> That's it. Goop. Could have gone with Geep. <laughs> Just Goop one out. All right, let's, let's go to question that, number two. Reserve that for your brand. Geep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What is the name of the fictional paper company that Michael Scott... Dunder Mifflin. Correct. Yeah. Wait, what? I didn't even know the question. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company in the office in Scranton. Oh, that's okay. You gotta watch it. I wouldn't it. have gotten it anyway. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, one on one. Which SNL alum wrote the script for the 2004 teen comedy Mean Girls? Uh, Tina Fey. Nice. Correct. Way to go. Yes. All right, it's two like, to one. I'm gonna know she's it great. Probably. I love yeah. Tina Fey. Oh, she's amazing. Hilarious. What present day item accidentally appeared in an episode of Game of Thrones? Hint. What was the hint, though? Go ahead. This item is commonly found on Jillian's desk. Oh. Uh, that would be a Starbucks cup. <laughs> yes. Is that correct? <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right. So, did you watch Game of Thrones? I have, oh, I loved Game okay, of Thrones. I, I, did I, you watch I, it? I saw, I saw like one episode and I was like, man, not my thing. And Are that's you okay. Serious? Yeah, just, you know. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I'd watch it all again. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> what popular television game show was hosted by Regis Philbin in the early 2000s? Oh, talk show, um. Talk show. Wait, was. Wait. Game show? Yes. Yeah, was uh, it Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Correct. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my like grandma used yell to yell at the camera. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. It's like, uh -huh. oh, Regis. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. I think you're up by one, maybe two. I don't know. Okay. All right. How much money did Justin Bieber make from selling the rights to 291 songs from his music catalog in 2022? I have no idea. Uh, was it 200 million? Correct. What? How did you remember that? I don't know. I don't know. The songwriter in me was like, tell me more about this 200 million. <laughs> um, million you guys, dollars. we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> There's Abby.